in this video, I will show another example uh, regarding the step response in uh, RC circuits. Okay, this is the circuit. We have a switch as usual, and uh, it's given that the uh, switch is in open position before uh, t is equal to zero, and we close the switch at time equal to zero. Okay, uh, in that sense, uh, we have a functional form for the uh, voltage source, as you can see, which is 20 times u of uh, minus t. So what is here? Okay, so it is called step function. Okay, what's step function? Step function is a function, a unit step function, u of t, which is equal to 1 when the argument inside of the parenthesis is greater than 0 and it's equal to 0 if it is less than 0. Okay, so it can be u of t, u of t minus 1 or u of minus t. So let's draw these uh, different functions and try to understand it is uh, behavior in electrical circuits. Okay, what is u of t? So it is technically the same. So it says that when t is greater than 0, it is 1. When t is less than 0, it is 0. OK. So if we draw it, so this is the uh, t is uh, greater than 0. And here we have t is less than 0. OK. This is u of t, and this is equal to 1. OK. So uh, if it's a voltage source, for example, it means that the voltage before t is equal to 0, it is 0. But the voltage source, uh, voltage value of the voltage source is equal to 1, for example, when t is uh, greater than 0. It can be similar to switch, okay? But the main difference is, okay, for example, we have a voltage source, okay, and we have a switch, okay? So when we close the switch, yes, this is same. When we close the switch, uh, it will supply voltage of 1 volt or 10 volts uh, as usual. However, uh, if we open the switch, the voltage source will be eliminated from the whole circuit. But in a step function, the main idea is if it's, for example, u of t, we don't have switch, when less than zero, it will become a short circuit. Okay, so we will not remove it from the circuit. It's still on the circuit, but it supplies zero voltage across its terminals. Okay, so u t minus five, if we draw it, it will be look like this. Okay, so let's clear this. So it is 5, and this is 1. So it is a delayed shifted version of U of T. So what is U minus T? It is the uh, flipped version of the U of T, and if we draw it, you can easily see that this is equal to this. Okay, so it is 1, T is less than 0, it is 0, and T is greater than 0. Okay, so in this case, we have u minus t, which means that, okay, Vs is equal to 20 volts for t is less than 0 or less than equal to 0. So exact timing is not critical. Vs equal to 0 volt when t is greater than 0. Okay, so this is the uh, whole idea that we need to be careful when analyzing the circuit. Okay, so when uh, t is less than 0, what we need to do is we need to compute the capacitor voltage. Uh, to compute its initial condition. Okay, so in general, when we have a switch, uh, right before we activate the switch or close the switch, we assume that the circuit is in under steady state conditions. Okay, uh, so switch is in open position. Okay, so which means that I can ignore all other circuit. Okay, that's good. So uh, the voltage source is equal to 20 volts. Let's simplify it to add the volts. Circuit is in steady state condition, so capacitor is X like an open circuit. I can ignore that. So all the thing I need to do is compute the voltage across these terminals. Since there is no current uh, flowing through 5 ohm, it is technically equal to 20 volts. Okay, so V0 or V0, initial condition of the capacitor at times equal to 0 is equal to 20 volts. Now, uh, at time t equal to zero, we have an uh, action on step response and also action on switch. Let's uh, clean the switch. Okay, that's good. So what we do, so we close the switch. This is good, now it's closed. Okay, so we technically uh, connect the capacitor's right part uh, to its capacitor, okay. And this becomes zero volts, so it is technically simply, let's ignore it, a short circuit. Okay, so there are two things that we need to do. A steady state, voltage of the capacitor, and equivalent resistance, and associated with the 
time constant of the capacitor. Okay, so how do we compute the time constant? It's the same thing technically we do in the pavilion and voltage circuits. Okay, so we kill the uh, independent sources. Okay, so it is 3 amp, it's a current source. I can just eliminate from the circuit. Okay, so what is the equivalent resistance? So as you can see, 5 ohm is parallel with 10 ohm. Okay, so our equivalent is simply equal to 5 times 10 divided by 5 plus 10. Okay, I think that's equal to 5 times 10, 15. Okay, that's good. Okay, 10 divided by 3 ohms. Okay, that's good. So I already compute our equivalent, uh, which is good. Let's uh, keep it here. Uh, what is tau? Tau is equal to capacitance times our equivalent, 10 divided by 3 times, okay, 2 divided by 10. Okay, so it is equal to 2 divided by 3 seconds. So tau time constant is equal to 2 over 3 seconds. Okay, so I computed tau. So what is the last thing is computing steady state voltage of the capacitor, okay? So let's keep it like this. Now I have that, okay, that's good. So what is the voltage across the terminals of the capacitor? As you can see, capacitor is in parallel with 5 ohm and 10 ohm, and we have a current source, okay? Uh, and this is technically an open circuit. So if we compute the uh, voltage across any resistor, uh, we will reach the capacitor voltage, okay? So it's also equal to this, okay? So I, this circuit is equal to this. Okay, our equivalent, this is the current source, 3 amps. Okay, so what is steady state voltage? It's equal to also the uh, voltage of the R equivalent at time goes to infinity. Okay, so there's no current flowing through the capacitor because of the open circuit assumption. So V infinity is simply equal to R equivalent 10 to the y 3 times 3 is equal to 10 volt. Okay, the infinity is equal to 10 volts. Okay, so let's check out our result. I think they should be correct. Okay, so V naught is 20 volts, V infinity is 10 volts, and tau is equal to 2 over 3 seconds. Okay, so if you want a closed form expression, just plug in the formula here. Okay, so V infinity, okay, so uh, these are not, this is not correct, exactly. You only need to uh, look at the other one. V infinity, V naught, and tau, or RC, it's the same thing. You can find a closed form expression for VC of D. 